All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to be starting a new section and for our civil FE exam review, we're gonna be looking at geotechnical engineering. So with geotechnical engineering, you're dealing with soils, you're dealing with uh, finding forces in soils, finding its strength, uh, finding its stress, a bunch of different things. So um, have, um, some practice problems for you all today in this video we're going to be looking specifically at um, our index properties and soil classification so let's go ahead and dive in um, let's get into it all right so number one says <laughs> given the information uh, a soil with 60 percent gravel 20 percent sand and 20 percent fines Determine the USCS group for the soil. Okay. So what information are we given? Well, we are given a soil, we're given a soil sample. Uh, with percentages, right? So 60%, 20%, and 20%. So I'm just going to say with uh, percentages. Okay. We're, we're to find uh, the USCS group. Okay. So what formulas might I need for this? Well, I don't. If you don't know what the USCS group is, then that's where I would probably start my search. So I'm gonna search USCS. 20 things come up. So So a lot of this is the US customary system um but i don't that's not what we need thermodynamics fluid mechanics all unit stuff so that was it okay should be a section in here that has um, soils. So we first got to get maybe to the geotech section because when I do USCS, it doesn't that doesn't help me out. So let's go to civil engineering, and we know that we're in geotech right now, right? Just by what it says. Okay, so if I scroll down, we have a ASHTO soil classification, and then we also have a unified soil classification system, which is um, what we need. So that's what the US CS stands for, right? We're classifying a soil. So you need to be able to get to this table, searching for it. You may not be able to just do a search like you just saw. So you need to know where it is um, in the manual, right? It's gonna be in your civil engineering section under geotech. Okay. All right, so now I feel like we're in the right section. All right, so this soil has a 60% gravel. So um, based on coarse grained and fine grained, it's more than 50% retained. So I know it's more coarse. If it was 50% passing, then I know it would be probably more um, sand and stuff or really fine material. So I know it's on this upper upper side. Okay, so when I zoom in, because I don't know if you all can see it. All right, what's next? Is it 50% uh, 
some more uh, gravel uh, retained, or is it your 50% uh, more uh, sands, or is it 50% passing? So for gravels, we still have 60%. So we're gonna stay on this upper line. So you can see the split line here. So we're staying in this area. Okay, then we move to the next section and we read, is it clean gravels? That means it has less than 5% fines or is it gravels with fines and it has more than a 12% fines? So I know ours says we have 20% fines. So it's more than 12% fines. So when we look at this, it can only be uh, between these two. And so it's either GM or GC, right? And what does that mean, right? It's either GM, which is silty gravel. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's GM or silty gravel or GC clay gravel. So if I look at my answer choices, um, I don't see GM on there, I just see GC. So I know that it's gonna be C. So you will need to know how to read this chart just based off the percentages and information that they give you, right? Pretty simple. Um, you do want to know where the line divides or separates your different soil classifications. Like where I'm putting my, my line at is a pretty big divider. Also between your coarse and your fine soils, there's another divider. So you just need to know uh, where things divide at, right? So that you're not selecting the wrong soil classification or reading the chart wrong. All right, let's look at number. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning. So I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, Ugh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed 
a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment. If you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video.